Hello, Randall Flagg here. Uh, the on the bathroom renovation project, uh, it's been decided finally that we're going to use electric radiant floor heat. So this 20 amp QO square D QO breaker I picked up on eBay. I saved about eh, 20, 25 bucks. Uh, it was quote used or uh, barely used and I got it God knows when and it, uh, like a year ago or more I, I don't have the receipt or the packaging or anything anymore so I had it as a spare so I put it in I rewired the 20 amp Romex line to be instead of 220 volt I rewired it to be 120 and I wired it up to this ground fault circuit interrupter breaker and the yellow test button here, the yellow test button just doesn't work. You press it and nothing happens. I took photographs of it and I worked with a, a Square D uh, rep. I made very close photos of this with the camera, with this camera, sent it to Square D, and the tech rep there emailed me back saying that her, his or her engineer, they think that it's a real one. It's not a counterfeit. Uh, it's been made about five to seven years ago, and there's something wrong with it, and it don't work. And next time, they told me next time buy new from a from a reliable vendor, which means the big orange uh, home center, you know. So I'm thinking this is where maybe UXW Bill comes in. It's held together by five rivets. I'm thinking of drilling out the rivets and then seeing what's inside and seeing if it can be fixed because a new one is 65 bucks. And if, I mean, probably won't be able to fix it. Even if we did, I don't know how we would rivet it back together because these rivets are probably very proprietary. They have a proprietary rivet design and gun, probably to keep nudniks like me from trying to do what I want to try to do. So, well that's that. I mean it works the uh, circuit overload function works. It works like a regular breaker except when you press this button here just diddly diddly squatuna happens. So, uh, I'll let you know how it comes out. Thanks a lot. Bye.